but let's keep the armed army flying high jai hind thank you very much shrimati ji madhavi thank you chairman sir <coughs> at the outset i would like to congratulate the civil aviation minister sri jyoti raditya sindhya for presenting the first demand for grant for his ministry since joining the government and being allocated rupees 10667 crores for the same there is a great expectation from the ministry that this budget helps to revive the loss of around 20000 aviation jobs in the country it is also hoped that beyond this financial year the specter of air india and the government carrying out the servicing of its debt is a thing of the past but we are uh, we are disappointed to note that 87% of the civil aviation budget in 2023 is still to serve the air india debt speaker sir, chairman sir the parliamentary standing committee on transport tourism and culture has highlighted the number of vacancies at the airport authority of india and that these are having a serious impact on the work efficiency of the air traffic uh, air traffic controllers this is definitely a shortcoming in the face of everyone's expectations that the ministry is doing its best to plug the loss of jobs in the aviation sector especially after the pandemic we hope that minister will make time bound attempts to fulfill the procedural requirements to fill to fill up the vacancies of atcos as suggested by the committee in my understanding uh, this is a closely like to another problem highlighted in yet another report by it another committee on the less than satisfactory performance of aai the committee on public undertaking has most recently tabled a report on the statutory body that is airport authority of india it was founded that aai is falling short of global standards in aviation safety and security measures as mandated by the international civil aviation organization there are eight critical elements for aviation security aai is lagging behind the effective implementation of two critical elements that is organization and licensing indian scores is 61.54% and even more shock 21 25.26% licensing against the world average 70.58% the issue must be ignored ironed out from the promotion of foreign investment in this space and inspi inspire confidence in the industry about their global standing it is confusing the ministry only flagship scheme that is a regional connectivity scheme udan is also seeing allocation reduced from 900 crores and also and is now down to an allocation of 600 crores for the upcoming financial year 22 23 we wonder if it is a trend to reduce the commitments to major initiatives after rising the hopes of the sector uh, for example there is a noticeable weakening of commitment once the life cycle of the promotion of a uh, scheme has come to an end sir andhra pradesh is the only major state which has three major airports vizag Vijay, vijayawada and tirupati unfortunately none of these airports uh, individually or all Uh, put together and providing air connectivity with all capital cities in the country sir of the 94 regional connectivity schemes udan routes are having completed a 3 years tenure till 30th november 2021 only 22 routes are operational the government was hoping that after the expiry of 3 year subsidy period airlines would be able to sustain the routes without uh, outside support while it is an airport important object objective for any scheme to have a sunset sunset clauses which ensure sustainability but it is it is short shine to withdrawal support or reduce uh, commitment at all time when covid uh, disrupted the industry we can see that the uh, tourism industry is need to additional support as the problem seems to be more acute on the tourism regional connectivity routes one not one not six tourism rcs routes were uh, floated for bidding 
islands respond with bits only 46 tourism routes and by 20 and, and by the 20, february 2022 only 21 out of these 46 routes are operational under ODA. it is our appeal to the minister to consider sus sus sustaining support and viability gap funding for the time horizon of 10 years at least before the expert of the connectivity established on certain routes in uh, dependent on viability gap funding. On observing the ministry budget, it has, it has been noted that token provision of 10 lakhs has been made for Krishi Udan scheme, which was announced back in the year 2020 budget. Krishi Udan 2.0 focused on the transport, perhaps will food, food products from the hilly areas, northeastern states, and tribal areas. It does not bode well that even after the completion of announcement of the announcement of the scheme by the Honorable Minister Nirmal Sita Raman during the budget, it has received just a token allocation. Sir, so, the demand of Bogapuram has been accepted by the central government in the form of an in principle approval. I understand that certainly there are conditions regarding comprehension to the Airport Authority of India. But, sir, Bogapuram is not just a planned as a civil greenfield airport, but also strategic one to given by the Indian Navy independence, dependence on Vishakapatnam Airport, uh, whose capacity can't be increased because of the limitations of the geography. Finally, to conclude, I would like to request the Honorable Minister to take the necessary steps for the Tirupati as a MRO center. Thank you for giving me this opportunity, sir.